Hello, 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 hello! Shooting on the A6400, my very first video using a Sigma 16mm f1.4 <laughs> Here we are and I've got a flippy up screen so I can actually see what I'm shooting which is pretty cool however I did put this on my Rode Video Micro and couldn't see a damn thing so this also came a cage so I'm going to put the cage on which will give me two extra cold shoe mounts and not get in the way of the flippy up screen what's interesting is I'm finding that because I've got a flippy up screen I'm looking at it and I normally wouldn't do that you know with the a7 III which is what I normally have been using up till today let me just plonk this down on the tripod so this camera just arrived today where are we now? 10 o'clock at night I got home at just after 7 so the camera was waiting for me but the battery was dead on arrival how annoying is that? I went to Glasgow today and I went into Jessup's which is a camera store and I got one of these there we go so it's a third party Henel battery and it did have a little bit of charge in it so I took the camera out on my dog walk I went down to the co-op for some milk and did some shooting but it was quite dark so you know I am denied about what my first photograph was going to be and it ended up being pretty rubbish so you know what are you going to do anyway I'm going to stop this now and put the cage on and then try the Rode Video Micro and do a wee quick comparison. I'm loving the 16mm lens. I've also got my traditional lenses for the A7 III, the full frame lenses. Tamron 28-75, Sigma 85, Loxia 35, but that's manual focus, so I don't expect I'll use that on this camera. I'll give it a try just to see. And it'll be interesting to try this 16mm lens on the A7 III. But I can't do that just now because it's a way for repair. So, okay, cage time. Right, here we are with the Rode Video Micro attached to the camera. I can see the audio levels on the screen. And with just my talking, it's going up into the red. So I had a quick look. The way I've set up my function menu on the A7 III is to have the audio level controller on one of the function buttons but it's not there on this one so I'm going to have to go into the menus and have some fun figuring all that out and try and customise the layout a little bit to match what I'm used to with the, the A7 III the purpose of this camera was primarily as a vlogging cam and a gimbal cam so I do have the Moza Aircross on its way when that comes I'm going to have this rig set up as a portable gimbal rig for doing concerts and stuff like that also for interviews, you know, I'll probably set this up when I'm doing portable interviews with some of the participants of, for example, the Aran Folk Festival, which is coming up in June. And I'll also use it for filming my guitar tutorials. I'm going to do a two camera setup. Haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet, where the cameras are going to go, how the lighting is going to work. None of that. But this is good.